What's up? Firstly, Happy New Year. I hope you had a good holidays. I hope you're feeling refreshed, energized for 2014. 2013 was a crazy year for freestyle in terms of development and events. And I see no reason why 2014 can't be even better. So I hope you all have a good year. Right, let's get on with it, shall we? Believe it or not, there was even more championships at the end of the last year than I thought. Firstly, there was the Ukrainian championships, which saw Zura beat Andrew in the final. Incredibly, this battle went five rounds. And in my opinion, Zura wrapped it up in the first three, but with the extra rounds, Andrew definitely came back, making it even harder for the judges. It's definitely worth checking this battle out. I'd love to know your thoughts. In my opinion, Zero took it with his interesting and fresh transitions. So there was two extra rounds in that battle, but there was no extra rounds in this battle. The Dutch Championship saw Rowdy versus Martin in the final. A clash of two different styles and a really tough one to call. Rowdy has got that blocking style with the b-boy element and that Japanese flavor thrown in. Martin is just a solid all-rounder. Like I said, this was a tough battle and there probably should have been an extra round, but Rowdy took it, so congratulations to him. Whenever there's competitions, the spotlight is always on the judges. And Camaleo recently judged the European Championships in Budapest and put down his thoughts in this interesting article. This is a really interesting read and goes into the psychology and different aspects that you need to take into consideration when judging. If you didn't already know, Super Syed and Camaleo have this project called FS Mind. It's really cool, it's interesting, it's exciting, and it's definitely what freestyle needs, so make sure you go follow them. Onto videos, S3, Street Style Society, Crew from France. They released a video of them doing a performance. They're always pushing boundaries and thinking of different ideas and this one is really cool. They used glow in the dark balls and paint to really put on the show and the crowd really loved it. Wise also posted a video on Facebook of him freestyling with Diego Maradona. This video really made my day. Some of the older freestylers in the community, including myself, were really inspired by Maradona and his tricks. Way before YouTube was invented, that was pretty much all you could see on the internet. It's a short video but an enjoyable one and Maradona is a great sport. Maradona wasn't the only footballing legend freestyling over the Christmas period. Robin Van Persie he posted a video of himself freestyling in the car park where he does crossover around the world combo. Pretty cool to see this. I don't know why he's done it, but yeah, it's pretty cool. He makes so much money every week, but just like the rest of us, goes out and trains in the car park. So well done, Robin. Although it's nice to see Robin Van Persie and Maradona freestyling, watching Japanese freestylers is so much better. Just before Christmas, Sven from Technique posted up the Tokyo Jam video, which was filmed during the Red Bull Street Style Finals. And in my opinion, this is one of the best Technique videos yet. Technique videos are always of the highest quality, but this one really is something special. Sven really captures the Japanese community and the style, and it really comes across so well. If anything, this video will remind you that freestyle is meant to be fun and enjoyable at all times. So that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what inspired you to start freestyling. Like I said before, Maradona was an inspiration for me, but also following on from that, guys like Tuzani, Pale, Nam the Man, Abbas Farid. Let me know when you started and who inspired you. I'll be back again next week with some more freestyle goodness. Until then, make sure you check out all the links in the description. Everything's there for you to go and check out. Till next time, happy freestyling. Peace.